So let's just go. Let's just be free. Hello guys, welcome to another um, review video. Today we're going to review tennis equipment. Um, I thought about reviewing it because this was really cheap and I really liked it. I'm not a professional um, tennis player, but I bought this um, very quickly during the lockdown because um, we were bored and tennis was one of the few sports you could still um, do in a fun way anyways. Um, so as you can see, this brand is Artengo, so we bought the bag, we bought two rackets that are different from each other, and we bought some balls, um, but they are just uh, regular uh, Wilson balls. So these are the balls we use, um, or we didn't use them that much, because to be honest, uh, we want to keep our balls uh, clean. So we actually found some balls on the court, um, or not on the court, but outside the court, abandoned. So we used those first to not get the new balls um, dirty. So these balls are kind of used, but still relatively unused. So just uh, regular Wilson balls. But I think these were actually the most, the, the, these were the most expensive things we bought. Um, I think the brackets were indeed more expensive. Before I started the video, I should have checked the price, um, but I thought about making a, a fast video, so I didn't um, look up the price first, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so we thought about buying expensive stuff first, but then again, I've played tennis before, but not really that much, and we don't know if we're going to play it that often. So buying expensive stuff would be kind of a waste of money so we just opted for cheap stuff instead as you can see this bag i really like this bag actually it doesn't cover the full racket but it does its job it carries two rackets and i have in this bag um i mean a wilson um and a bucket i don't know what this is called like a glass a tube of Wilson tube of balls um, another Wilson tube of balls um, this one we also found just on the ground outside um, I really like collecting tennis balls like since I was a kid so yeah we collect the old balls we find here in and so I think one two three four so now we have eight balls in total and we still have like four balls um, reserved in the bag as well. So it, from the outside it looks like a very small bag, but it can actually hold like a lot. So in total, um, 12 balls I would say. So that's a lot of balls for such a small package and cheap um, tennis bag. Because when we go tennis, you see sometimes like the pro, or not the pro, like people that like, do this very often, they have like really big bags. I never understood it, I still don't. I think um, you have like, clean clothing or extra balls or equipment to set up your racket, etc. That's what I think. Um, but this worked pretty well, in my opinion, and it held up. I mean, it still looks kind of clean for being used a lot. I mean, we used it in the winter as well, in rain. We used it in the warm summer. Um, but yeah, and it still works. The only thing that's annoying is if you walk with it or if you run with it. I don't know why you would run with this bag, but we did run because we wanted to jog to get a warm up before we get to the court. Howdy, stranger. And this thing goes open pretty quickly because of the rackets so that could get annoying and yeah that's about the most negative stuff i have about it and if you put it on your back and you have balls here um, depending on your length this can hit your head so you have to like slide the racket on the side so that it doesn't touch your back when it's on your um, back and it avoids touching your the back of your head 
So that's the only two. Not really negatives, but yeah, something you would have to pay attention to if you want to buy um, this bag. And again, I'm just reviewing this bag because I really liked it. And compared to the other prices I've seen online and how expensive tennis equipment is, um, I thought about giving this a nice review because I don't really see a lot of reviews of it on YouTube. And I mean, I'm used to buy expensive stuff for outdoor equipment and mountain bikes, but um, I guess you can have fun also buying cheap stuff. And this is pretty nice proof of it. I mean, we really enjoy tennising. We haven't done it in a while because we're pretty busy right now. Um, and we only started tennising because we were bored and we were interested. But yeah, so this is, I think, my tennis racket, so yeah. This is our Tango um, Comfort. This is made for men. At least that's what the website says. I mean, you can buy whatever you want, of course. We haven't really noticed any difference. I think the only difference mostly between men's tennis racket and women's tennis racket is the um, weight of it. Sometimes I think also the size of the handle. So this is a tennis racket, as you can see, you have some kind of ball remnants, like tennis ball remnants on the tennis racket itself, but it held up pretty nicely. And in my opinion, I hit the ball pretty hard and the racket is still uh, pretty solid. I don't know if that makes a difference if you want to hear it. nervous buying this racket because I'm used to um, seeing rackets as very expensive um, tools to play tennis but this one was very very cheap but still looks very very nice and it looks expensive in my opinion and it works very very well at least that's what I think I didn't feel any hindrance playing tennis um, while using this racket, but do keep in mind I'm amateur, we just do it for fun, don't take it seriously like a lot of people do. I mean, I don't take any of my sports I do very seriously, um, it's just a hobby I do, I just do it for fun. Um, so, yeah. so even outdoor mountain biking, I mean, I do some stuff high level, but never um, competition wise because I don't believe in I mean I like I'm competitive but I don't know I like competing with other people I will get to serious competing yeah that's the men's racket and of course we have also the rubber here which can also be expensive but I'll show you the package of the ones we are using the racket also comes with this rubber thing that holds the, well not really holds, but it covers the end of the sticker. If you play tennis or if you have played tennis, you know what I mean. Um, so this is for the grip. It comes with its own grip, of course. It has a really nice grip under here, but we just did it anyways to protect the original grip, of course. And this um, tape, uh, racket tape, was pretty cheap but it still holds up I mean you can kind of see that it's used um, but I mean it's still still look nice and I kind of play with gloves sometimes and also bare handed and still will help it pretty nice my girlfriend's racket looks a bit nicer I think she hits less hard or less aggressive so it's kind of looks newer and yes and less um used but her racket is the also the same color but her is the light version so this is relatively light you do feel it when you hold it in your hand that it is lighter but it's practically the same design as the other one I 
like this design. I mean, I like this design more so than the design I've seen of more expensive rackets like Wilson's and uh, Prince. The Prince rackets were pretty nice, especially the dark colors, but when you saw this, it was like, um, it's perfect. So the design of it really played a role in choosing this one as well. If you couldn't find a nice looking racket that was cheap, then we didn't buy this one. So the design of it really played a role in buying this as well, I have to say. This is also what's inside of it. So really nice information, really nice details everywhere for the price you pay. I will put the price I paid on the screen because I'll look at it um, in a second. We did buy it um, at Decathlon. If you are from Europe, you know what I'm talking about. It's like a very cheap place to buy outdoor stuff. So yeah, pretty nice racket, it's relatively lighter, you feel it, and you have to use less strength to hold this up than my own racket. And yeah, that's basically the rackets. I will go take the tapes, the hand grip tapes, so you can see which ones I bought. So hold on a second. So to be safe, we bought like a shitload. Um, again, these were also very cheap to buy, and we still only use one of each, and you get like twelve um, grips with these. So there's ten in this box now, and they're still like brand new. And we also bought this one, an overgrip, same brand as our Tango. And this one, oh, this one is also Artango, so both Artango didn't really know what we were doing, so we thought about buying both. If we didn't like this one, we would use this one. Um, but as you can see, we didn't even open this package yet. So that's the beauty of buying cheap stuff. Like if you are not using it, then you don't regret it, and maybe you will eventually use it in the future or sell it or just give it to someone. Um, but yeah, this is the grip you just saw on my tennis racket as these like circles gives it a nice texture but you can like preview the texture here before you open it and you can feel it because it's like um, taped or glued on to the box so you can feel it before you buy it and the same goes for here so like for a cheap um, brand I mean I'm not really familiar with the tennis rolls maybe this is like standard like for outdoor equipment like buying cheap stuff it doesn't really always come in such good quality but i would say this one is like top notch and yeah i did buy also the tennis shirt from the same brand but to be honest those were pretty bad in my opinion the tennis shirts and shorts they store sweat and smell pretty fast so like after a few sweaty sessions at the gym or a few sweaty sessions like playing tennis then they get like pretty stinky in my opinion um, so I don't recommend it's like very cheap uh, material very it, it feels nice it looks nice in my opinion but when you use it it looks very old very fast and it also gets pretty smelly and gets very dirty very fast but yeah so that was the review of the tennis racket and our tango in general i suppose and i guess that's it i will i hopefully put the prices um, in the thumbnail or not in the thumbnail in the video and in the subscriptions below but if i didn't remind me and i'll put the links and the prices uh, in the video so again, thanks for watching. This was a quick video, sorry. Um, it's 50 minutes, so it wasn't really a quick video, but it's kind of a different video from what I used to do on like BAM tennis stuff. Um, I think this will be my only tennis content review-ish, because I don't really see myself buying new tennis stuff.
this uh, we see a board again. Uh, okay. Sorry, that's it. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Please subscribe and like the video if you liked it, and comment, tips.